Welcome back, netizens, to this newest edition in Juice Media series of rap news journalism with me, Robert Foster. This evening we're actively delving in depth to facts which affect all of us who dwell on this internet. And we've got to give a special welcome to all the ladies and agents from the NSA, ACO, MI5. Glad you're listening in, because today's show is all about surveillance and how it's spreading from the streets into our modems. As we speak, laws are being tacitly written in to implement ways of controlling the expanse of this internet. To keep us safe, we're told. But from whom? And will this place ever be? the same if these plans go through to find out we connect with our first guest to comment on the matter we're live at the Penopticon with general baxter general son good to have you back again with us explain why the state is spying on us my fellow oceanians as you know we've always been at war with eurasia or is it east asia either way it's war and we need division to wage it but now the proles are connecting online bypassing these illusory divisions of race religion and nationality sounds grand to me it's a catastrophe centuries of hard work are being undone profits are vanishing and it's due to the internet it's empowering Humanity, we need to get this snafu one to control rapidly. How? Behold the latest weapon in the war of terror. Our greatest invention since 9-11. Guaranteed to keep us free and safe forever. I give you the surveillance state, ladies and generals. Our secret wires log your key style. Monitor every single number on your speed dial. Rewind straight to your position with facial recognition and pinpoint you within 0.03 of a mile. We put eyes everywhere without consulting you, keeping you safe whether or not you want us to. Soon they'll be no freedoms left for threatening. Then we'll have won the war. Take that terrorism. Brilliant. Thank you, General. We now interview our resident guru, Terence Moonseed, for a different view. Greetings. How does this situation look? I have one word for you, Robert. Double plus I'm good. The world populace of 7.4 billion are all headed in the direction of Orwellian totalitarian oblivion. My voice is hoarse yelling about stellar winds, cold chilling them in trap wire weaving through the world wide web we all dwelling in. Face it, the all seeing eyes in all of our Facebooks like a virus and in these iPhones with Siri. Or should I say Iris? Next in line is RFID devices and mind chips triggered by chemtrails the plague spray the sky with. This time it's too far. Check out the base they're building in Utah where they'll be storing all your data for over a century. It's bar. And under the outback is an entire tunnel of wires. An echelon base called Pine Gap to hijack our mother Gaia. Hey, maybe your mother's gayer. Boo hoo. Why didn't you just kill yourself like most of your troops do? That's it. Now you're on the cast iron list. Hang on, General. Why weren't we informed about this? Sorry we didn't tell you about our grand plan before. It was meant to be a surprise, under wraps in his store. But some sports sports had to go and ruin it for all by blowing whistles in spite of the damn law. Bill, Benny, and Thomas Drake are trailblazers for leaking these tactics. Hey, civil liberty activists, a- activists, this is all legal. Anything we do now actually is. How did you can't question my authority, thanks to this. And that shit's global, people. In Australia, it's now legal for the government to store all SMSs, searches, and emails. Australians, it's taking place under your nose. Unless you wake up, all your data are belong to ACO. Come on, everyone knows. You could trust the government now. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to worry about. That might be the case with things that are happening now because most people agree with most of the laws that are being handed down. But once the Illuminati reveal their agenda for you, this surveillance will enforce laws you no longer consent to. But by then it'll be too late to protest too. And anything you've ever said, typed to browse can or will be used against you. I'm confused. So what should we do then? What should we do? Nothing. This is all an illusion. It's just a ride, a delusion, the Matrix, the Maya deceiving us. Oh, you hippies really make our job so much easier. Sorry to interrupt, but we're picking up a signal from beyond the space-time continuum. Quick, switch on the juice channeling portal. Wait, is that George Orwell? Good day, too. Wow, what do we owe this honor to? I tried to warn you noobs, but I see you are actually fools. What else you thought this was an instruction manual? Yes, <clears throat> so can you advise us? What would you have us do? An open and universal internet is the most effective tool you have to address the issues that afflict the world at hand. Therefore, protecting it is the most essential task that stands before your generation. I think I understand. Hush, man, you must not lose the internet. Heed this mantra. Who controls the internet controls the data. And who controls the data controls the future. We're losing you. I leave you with a tool to use. An onion? Don't be simple, Robert. This is but a simile. It stands for Tor. Tor? Google it. It's for anonymity. This onion router open network helps considerably against tyranny, but its abilities only work if all you f***ers use it consistently. And even if you don't use it, run it, so it's forced swell. Thanks, Mr. Orwell. From now on, call me George Torwell. If we'd had such tools when I wrote this, well, it would have been so much simpler to tell Big Brother to go f*** himself. The mother f***ing sucking piece of sh- 
thanks George Torwell for manifesting direct from this memory hole of history to impress on us these messages. We're told we need safety, which is precious, yes, but can a society that can enforce all its laws ever progress? Hindsight shows that many figures guilty of thought crime turned out to be luminaries and heroes before their time. But if a surveillance state had reigned then in this form and design, just think of all the progress we may have all been denied. Could lobbies for women's or gay rights have appeared and thrived? Would revolutionary ideals have materialized? Would science have pioneered or even survived if every word had been monitored by thought police and spies? Big Brother brings chilling effects, freezing our collective hopes. He doesn't protect our safety, but protects the status quo and threatens this internet, the one channel yet uncontrolled, whose openness we are now called upon to effect and uphold.